वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल बेसिक फिजिक्स विद मोमेंट इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कैरियर कंसंट्रेशन इन एन इंटेंसिव सेमीकंडक्टर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैरियर कंसंट्रेशन इन एन एक्सटेंसिव सेमीकंडक्टर सो बेसिकली वी ऑल नो दैट एक्सटेंसिव सेमीकंडक्टर इज ए मैनमेड सेमीकंडक्टर which is basically doped for our practical purpose okay. or technological purpose so we doped two types of suppose if we doped two types two types of doping one with trivalent atom and other with pentavalent atom if we doped with trivalent atom then it will be a p type semiconductor and if we doped with a pentavalent atom sorry pentavalent atom then it will be n type semiconductor so in this topic today we will calculate the carrier concentration for an extensive semiconductor okay so in our previous video we know that that n the value of n equal to nc into e to the power ef minus ec by kt and also for whole p equal to n g e to the power e g minus e f minus e f by kt okay now whether it is an intensive or extensive semiconductor okay the intensive carrier concentration ni square will be n into p then the intensive carrier concentration from this equation if we put the value of this then it will be we know that nc equal to nc equal to 2 into 2 m star into 5 kt by h square to the power 3 by 2 and also in v equal to 2 into 2 m h star by kt by h square to the power 3 by 2 put this two value here we will get the value of n i equal to 2 into 2 pi kt by h square to the power 3 by 2 and m e star m h star to the power 3 by 4 and it will be e to the power ef minus ec plus ev minus ef okay then ef will, will cut out then it will be minus ec plus ev by kt okay so from this we can also write 2 into 2 by kt h square and 2 the power 3 by 2 m e star m h star 2 the power 3 by 4 e to the power minus ec minus ev by kt and we know that the difference between ec ec and ev is called the forbidden value which is equal to basically eg so from this ni will be 2 into 2 by kt by h square to the power 3 by 2 m star m h star to the power 3 by 4 e to the power minus eg by 
2 kt here will be 2 term will be there okay 2 kt okay 2 is something missing and sorry for that okay so actual equation will be and i will be this okay now if we calculate the problem with that because we are also preparing for net and just or get okay so list let's calculate a map okay. let's see a map some is some okay now question is calculate calculate the intrinsic concentration concentration of charge carrier charge carrier at 300 kelvin given that m e star equal to 0 0.1 e times of m e m h star equal to 0 0.28 times of m e and the value of band gap which is basically forbidden band gap equal to 0 0.67 ev okay so we have to calculate the value of ni this ni now put this equation here ni equal to 2 times of 2 pi kt by h square to the power 3 by 2 m e star m h star to the power 3 by 4 e to the power minus e g by 2 k t okay this is the equation we know that okay now put all these value here put all the value and check the result so if we put the value of k equal to k means Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 okay uh, t equal to 300 kelvin h equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second okay m e star equal to 0 0.12 into 9.1 1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg okay. mh star equal to 0 0.28 into 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg okay and eg equal to 0 0.67 ev equal to 0 0.67 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule okay so put all these value in this equation and calculate the result okay so tell me the answer so our answer will be our answer will be four point and i will be four point six three five into 10 to the power 12 centimeter to the power minus 3 or 4.635 into 10 to the power 18 meter per meter cube okay check the result and comment me now move on to our class 
Now, for n, for n, n type semiconductor, for an n type semiconductor, okay, what will be happen? For an n type semiconductor, this is the conduction band and this is the valence band and there will be a donor level isn't it donor level and EF will be EF will be what happened with the EF let's calculate okay. so we know that if it is the number of concentration of carriers at donor level will be nd okay then we can write n equal to nd into e to the power ef minus ed ed means energy at donor level ed it is ec and it is ev okay by kt okay. if all the donor states are filled then we write n equal to basically nd okay so now put the value of n here that we know that n equal to nc into e to the power ef ef minus ec by kt equal to nd so from where we can write nd by nc equal to e to the power ef minus ec by kt so from where if we take logarithm in both sides then we get ef minus ec equal to kt times of ln nd by nc okay so from this ef equal to ec c plus this plus kt into ln nt by nc equal to ec plus so it is with minus ln nc by nd so that means the army level will be the family level will be up from the middle okay so it will be then family level it is up okay. now for a p type semiconductor for a p type semiconductor For a p-type semiconductor, the impurity of the accepted type and the density of the electron have been thermally raised from the valence band into the accepted state at energy level Ea. Then we can write uh, n here n not n here p equal to n a n a times e to the power it will be the equation will be uh, the equation p equal to e b minus e f so it will be e a e a minus e f by k t okay so if all the acceptor states are filled means a p type semiconductor conduction band it is valence band okay, and the fermi energy lie between them for an intensive semiconductor if we do it, then here will be a acceptor level a acceptor level acceptor level okay acceptor level and if this acceptor level if mean we are totally filled then p equal to n a okay 
So if we put the value of the nv into e to the power uv minus ef by kt equal to n. Okay. From this we can also calculate that nv by n equal to n by n equal to e to the power ef minus ev by kt. So from this if we take logarithm b means ln means log base e in both sides then it will be nv by na equal to ef minus ef by kt okay so from this ef equal to ev plus kt into ln nv by na so it will state that the final end level will be down okay. new farm level will be this okay. so let's check a problems So a simplest one. The problem states an intrinsic sample of germanium crystal has a hole density of 10 to the power 13 per centimeter cube at room temperature. When doped with antimony, the hole decreases 10 to the power 11 per centimeter cube at the same temperature. Find the value of the majority carriers. So here, given that Ni equal to 10 to the power 13 centimeter per centimeter per cc, okay, and P is given 10 to the power 11 per cc, okay. So we know that Ni square equal to N into P. So from this, N will be n i square n i square by p so n i square means 10 to the power 13 to the, 10 to the power 26 divided by 10 to the power 11 which will be 10 to the power 15 per cc okay it will be the answer okay so see all of you in our next video till then bye and please like our channel share our videos with your friends and subscribe thank you for watching